Yago Dora speeding down the line. Hopping over a big rock, goes Ooh. upside down. Yago Dora pulls off one of the best punts <laughs> of the year. One more time from this angle. So look at that. He has to go over that chop, and then he goes completely upside down, and Jordy Smith tried to take away the scoring opportunity and went over the falls himself. Polo Pinto, 8-5 as he's swinging into the picture now. Running after a 7.71, Colo Pinto attacks the top of that closeout section and rides away perfectly. These guys just don't want to lose, Joe. They not only garner the attention of the judges, they really take that into effect in the judging criteria too. Combination of major maneuvers in the most critical sections, and as you can see here, a beautiful finish right there going up into the lip line. Itulo Ferrara has to give way to Felipe Toledo, who executes on his priority. Little gaff off the beginning, looks for the ramp. <laughs> alley -oop. it's a huge one, and stomps it. No problem for Toledo. More amplitude, air reverse wow. for finish, and those are the combos that make Felipe Toledo so, so dangerous. I love to be able to uh, really study this in slow motion. The leverage, the alley -oop against the wind, Mitchell, and then this is the important part. The shock absorbers to get back down there, get back on his toes, to get engage that rail. No loss of momentum, enough speed to get into this next maneuver and flip it out, that pop. But look at his eyesight, though. See how he's always looking at the landing as soon as he's going up into the air? That's not only the key to great airs, but it's also the key to sticking them, too, Kaipo. 3.33 for Lasta Griff. Toledo needs a 4.39 on this wave to go right into first. He's got that stall, he wants to ramp up. Clear for takeoff, full <laughs> rotation. Seamless on the landing, right into a wrapping cutback. Now Toledo ramping up again, big section, throw tail, okay. reverse wow. complete. Wow. He can kind of push towards the beach, but look at the alley-oop though. He goes into, tra into transition right here, and look at the way he uses his shoulders to rotate and he almost even over-rotates. That's why he has to bring the shoulder back around when he does that right there. Wow, and huge scores coming in for Felipe Toledo. 9.57 for this second effort of the final. Love That's the wrap amazing. in the combination. And then to rotate the other way just shows exactly. off his skill set. He didn't repeat the alley-oop motion. Shows how talented he is in the, and above the lip to go the other way. The variation and your muscle memory from the air right before, it's so difficult for you to kind of do that in the moment. For him to just sit and wait and know it's coming, that's solid. And obviously, for him to perform like that is just bananas. I mean, he's unbelievable to watch. Let's see what Griff's got right here. Big car for Griffin Colapinto. Nice clean wrap once again. Coiling up off the bottom, there's the snap to slide. More room on the mm. inside for a front side power carve. Jamming it off the oncoming section. A lot of variety for Griffin down the stretch. He will shut it down in the white water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a decent combo. Great first turn right there using his rails and he really drives to that turn too. You can see how sharp those rails are on this board that Matt Giles made him for Punta Roca specifically.